Of the 100,000 native carnivores that are killed in the U.S. by USDA Wildlife Services, about 70 to 80,000 are coyotes. We have an all-out war on coyotes in this country, and so far all it's succeeded in doing is making more coyotes. Lethal control is largely ineffective, and in most cases it, it'll make the problem worse. And we kill hundreds and hundreds of thousands of them in horrible ways. Many of these animals are killed with indiscriminate lethal methods, including aerial gunning, snares, poisons. Well, I don't see any use in killing all the animals. I mean, they all need to be here for, for one reason or another. By eliminating, you know, the alpha male or female, you could actually upset the apple cart, so to speak, and, and create more coyotes being produced. If you were to remove all the predators, not only would the environment suffer, but you would throw the ecology completely out of balance. You can never do just one thing. That's one of the first laws of ecology. So anywhere from killing a few to killing many just opens up Pandora's box. They have so many tools and so many ways to compensate for that uh, lethal control. So in 1996, we learned that uh, this federal agency was going to be using a poison called Compound 1080. None of us knew what it was. None of us knew about the agency that was going to be using this. Well, the Marin County Livestock and Wildlife Protection Program uh, kicked off with the controversy around using 1080 uh, collars for uh, predator control. In addition to compound 1080, wildlife services use another deadly poison called sodium cyanide. My dad used the cyanide devices here and whatever animal tugged on them we basically was killed. My experience was that you either got a, a young coyote that probably wasn't the problem or, or you got an innocent bystander, so to speak, a uh, fox or something like that. Millions of innocent animals that are actually helping our ranching and helping our land are being killed indiscriminately. So when we learned about this poison and the agency behind it, we then learned that this agency had been functioning in Marin County for decades at taxpayer expense. And they were already killing bobcats, badgers, mountain lions, foxes, particularly at the behest of ranchers. Animal groups interested in protecting wildlife came forward and asked that we try non-lethal approaches. And this includes livestock guard dogs, llamas, better fencing. Here was assistance to help them mitigate livestock losses and to obtain you know, methods that they had never previously employed before. You know, part of my job as a farmer is to figure out how to coexist with the wildlife. And I really don't like shooting and trapping and killing various animals that I think we ought to share, um, share the road. I believe today we have uh, 40 guard dogs out on 20 plus ranches. And we have, I think, 35 llamas. Livestock losses from predation has markedly declined. When USDA Wildlife Services was in the county, the total program cost was around $80,000. Since they have left, the program costs have declined down to around $20,000. The Marin County Livestock and Wildlife Protection Program is just becoming a national model for how to do it right. There's great reduction in depredations, it's become cost effective, and ranchers and farmers have been really much more involved with the natural functioning ecosystem. And the more they learn, the more they can improve um, those kinds of non-lethal control practices. If you want to keep an ecosystem healthy, you've got to have the whole carnivore complex. You've got to have predators and their prey. If, if there were more counties that adopted this and actually implemented it on a serious level like we did here in Marin, they would find that they could be successful as well. We need wild animals. We need all kinds of wild animals and the more different kinds of wild animals we have, the better. You know, when, when the coyotes are singing outside, I always, you know, turn off the stereo when we hear them. We turn off the stereo and open the windows and say, listen, listen, do you hear them? And it's a sense of wildness around you. There is an intrinsic value to that.